How's it going everybody? Uh, this is Kevin with the AZ Campcraft channel. Uh, I'm just going over a quick quick video um, of a gear loadout that I'll be bringing on a four day, three nighter trip. There's my dog going crazy. Um, so uh, stay tuned and I'll go through all this real quick and we'll see what I'm bringing. Right here we just have examples of the snacks I'll be bringing. Some cookies, some candy. Um, it's going to represent what I'll be eating for breakfasts on the trip. Uh, just some dehydrated hash browns, a container here. Um, I bring real eggs. I'm not a fan of dehydrated eggs. I think it's worth it to, for the barely extra weight it costs. Um, over here is things I'll be doing for lunch. Um, just the tuna pouches, the flavored ones. Um, some ramen noodles. I'll be bringing some dehydrated vegetables to add to those. Um, and then I'm going to separate these out, but we're going to do some tortillas with uh, salami as well. And then for dinners, um, just, uh, I mean, I, and I'm not really a fan of the mountain houses, but they got a few good ones, so I got the sweet and sour pork, some lasagna, um, we got the new Cincinnati style chili from Backpackers Pantry, and I figured I'd give a try the, the dark chocolate cheesecake. Um, we're also going to be bringing um, some homemade dehydrated jerky if it turns out okay and we did some unstuffed bell peppers that are actually dehydrating right now um, that we're also going to be bringing uh, and we will also be bringing a few uh, craft beers with us on the trip so I got this dedicated amber ale from Devil's Canyon um, I haven't tried any of these either, so these will all be new for me. I got a dog tag, legacy lager, just American lager right there. Tower Station IPA. And probably most excited about this one, I don't know why it just sounds very good. Uh, the Dude's Blood Orange Amber. Um, so, you know, they're all 5.5 to 8.5. All right, and this is going to be what I'll be bringing with me in, as far as gear goes. So right here we got the Winter Outfitters um, hammock and uh, what is this Bloom hammock straps and uh, cheapy Amazon finds. I think I paid thirty-five to forty dollars for this set. Um, I get the Climate Insulated Static V light. Now that I'll be bringing that sleeping pad. So right here is a 10 by 10 Bushcraft Outfitters um, OD green tarp. It's got uh, stakes in there as well. Um, 15 degree uh, hike and bike down sleeping bag. Um, it's got a cheapy ultralight Walmart tarp 5x7. It's like 10 bucks. Um, that goes for a ground pad or just having an extra tarp. Here's the uh, Inflatable pillow I got, some bank line. Uh, I'm be bringing a Boreal 21 saw. Um, my buddy's going to be bringing his Granfish Brooks axe, so we're going to carry an axe and a saw. I'd rather carry it. Got the GoPro knockoff, the light dial um, right here. Uh, that's just going to be for filming some time lasses, hopefully, and maybe a couple other shots. Um, for the cook kit, I'm going to be doing um, just a ultralight kettle because I'll be boiling water for most of my meals. Got a titanium plate there that'll double as a frying pan. Um, I got my stainless steel carabiner mug right here. I'm debating whether or not to bring the cold steel, or excuse me, the cold handle carbon steel um, frying pan. It's like a six inch diameter. You can cook one egg in there at a time. It's pretty perfect for it. It just it's so light I might I might just bring it because I can do hash browns and eggs at the same time instead of doing it separately uh, and letting one get cold while the other one cooks. Uh, this is just a little uh, spice kit right here. Uh, I like to bring spices along. Got my scrubber. Um, got the the old beer can alcohol stove which I still need to pick up the fuel for. Um, for water filtration, I'll be going with the Sawyer Mini Squeeze. Um, and I got a 64 ounce bag here for it as well. Um, you know, we'll have 
three or four different ways of purifying water. I got all my water containers I can boil in, um, the Sawyer Squeeze. We usually have water drops as well. Um, over here I got a Shemag and a Bandana. I um, usually bring those even though I don't necessarily use them all the time. Um, just a pair of Mechanics Gloves. I got the SC Camp Lore JG3 right here. that will be taken along. It's a fat, uh, flat grind knife on it. Um, and then I got the Leatherman Signal as well. Um, Venture uh, Medical Kit Ultralight one. And then right here is just a Possible's pouch. Um, let's see if I can get it open. So in here I just got like uh, something like on a Karen box. These are just beeswax fire starter wicks. Um, I got some biodegradable can toilet toilet paper, it's just a little um, like a hygiene kit right there, um, this has got all my forks, spoons, knife, I got a pair of toaster tongs in here for tongs, um, you know, got my fail rod, I got a little roll up uh, diary journal thing, whatever you want to call it, got a little lantern in here, extra batteries, koozie, camp towel, headlight, um, camp bellow, so that's about it for in there. Um, so yeah, this is the majority of what I'm going to be taking. Um, besides the clothing, which I'll go over here in a sec. Okay, and this is to give you an idea of um, the clothes I'll be wearing and bringing. <clears throat> so right here I just got a, it's like a $25 pair of um, tactical pants off Amazon. Um, really like them actually um, they're selling out though I went and looked and there's only like two colors in my size um, you might be able to find them though just tactical pants it's gonna be like the third or fourth one that pops up they're like 25 bucks C CQR I think is the brand or the shops on them um, and we got a Omniwool uh, base layer um, that's you know for a base layer in case it gets cold or anything like that I can just throw that on um, I got a ultralight REI cap um, folds in the middle you can pack it down pretty small um, and then just a, a beanie if it gets too cold at night um, the jacket I'll be wearing the most is this outdoor research cathode I um, just got it for a pretty good deal on Amazon haven't used it yet so looking forward to trying that out um, it's gonna get um, low 30s high 20s at night where we're going uh, 60 degree days mid 60s also going to be bringing along um, that that's an outdoor research filament 850 fill down I believe um, again another Amazon score picked it up real cheap um, I'm going to be bringing along just because um, uh, this is, these are first down jackets I've bought and well the cathode is um, prim left but they're the first two jackets that I've ever actually invested money in in terms of an outdoor jacket. Um, so I want to bring both and, and just try them both out while I'm in a, a decently cold environment. Um, for socks, I'm going to be trying out three different kinds. Heard nothing but good things about Darn Tough, so uh, we're going to be giving those a try. Um, these are some wool socks I got out of a Cairn box. Not sure the brand. Um, and these are just some Hanes X Temps. Um, so I'm going to be trying all three of those out. <clears throat> and then for extra clothes, I don't normally really bring a lot of extra clothes. Um, so I'll be bringing this shirt for sure. It's just like a lightweight synthetic uh, rustic ridge outdoor shirt, fishing shirt, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll be bringing uh, some thermal lay, uh, you know, thermal bottom just in case it gets pretty chilly at night. And then it's just a pair of rustic ridge um, hiking convertible pants. Uh, you can unzip and take them into shorts. Um, up in the air, whether or not I'm going to bring these or not, um, I might just so I have the option for shorts. Okay, as far as what I'll be uh, carrying all this in with, um, I just got the Granite Gear Sacram uh, 2. It's a 60 liter ultralight pack, weighs 2 pounds, 5 ounces. Um, if you, it's got a detachable uh, little top pocket here if you lose that. Um, I think it goes down to like 2.2 ounces, 2.3 ounces, something like that. Um, just a roll top closure, like a dry bag. Two 
pretty decent sized mesh pockets for the water bottles and one large mesh pocket um, in the front there. So yeah, the Crown 260 liter. Um, it's empty, it's brand new, like I said, never used it, just got it, so I'll probably throw up a, a review on that after I um, take it out on the trip once, or at least like a follow-up video, say, you know, if I liked it or not. Alright guys, so that's, uh, that's really it. I think, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I'll be bringing a, like a backpacking chair, it's like a pound and a half, um, kind of like the REI uh, backpacking folding chair. Um, it's kind of heavy, but I love to have a backrest after backpacking. Um, so for me, it's worth the wait, at least on this trip anyways. Um, so keep an eye out. I'll be posting um, a video of the trip after we get back. I might run down the, the gear again. Um, you know, what I use, what I didn't use, what I would bring again, what I wouldn't bring again, that type of deal. Um, but we'll see. I'm trying to put up more content on the channel. So... Um, stay tuned for that. It should be up in the next week or two. Um, going in four days. Um, so we'll be doing four, four days, three nights up and around Greer um, by the Black River in Arizona. So should be good.